Uh, what's up guys? This is Engineer Jack and this is Structural Theory. So yung topic natin for this presentation is cables subjected to uniform distributed load. So last time tapos na tayo sa cables subjected to concentrated load. So this time, uh, uniform distributed load naman. So ganun pa din yung step by step solution in solving the axial loads or the unknown forces of members in our cables. So ganun pa din. We'll draw the FBD of the structure. Solve the external reactions by applying the equation of equilibrium, apply the method of joints or method of sections or both, apply the equations of equilibrium to solve the unknown forces, and repeat until all the unknown forces have been obtained. Uh, yan lang naman ulit yung step-by-step -step solution natin, just like last presentation natin. So, for example, meron tayong uh, cable dito, subjected nga to uniform distributed load. So, yung itong curve guys, for our cables, when subjected to uniform load, ina-assume na parang parabolic curve na yan. Actually, hindi naman talaga yan perfect parabolic. Pero, for approximation na lang, for computation, yung ginagawa natin, parabolic curve yan. Para ma-apply natin yung uh, square property parabola, mga ganun. Uh, we can also use the calculus in solving the length of our cable. So, may mga variables tayo dito. For example, yung H, L, and W, O. So, yung H, this is sag. Or, from the lowest point of the cable, from the support, uh, that, that is H or the sag. And, yung L naman, this is the distance between the support and WO, this is the uniform distributed load. For example, uh, ikat natin or by section, ikat natin at the middle of our cable. So, yung lalabas at the lowest point of the cable, meron tayong a uh, force or tension na this is the lowest tension in our cable na ang variable is FH. Na ang FH niya is the horizontal component of force in the cable. And meron din tayong value ng Tmax or this is the maximum tension in the cable. And yung Tmax usually nasa support yan. So, kung anong reaction ng support, ay yun na mismo yung uh, tension or Tmax natin. Depende. Pag symmetrical, automatic, yun na mismo yung Tmax at the highest point of our cable. So, yun nga, uh, Tmax is the equivalent of the resultant. So, equal yan sa resultant of our support. So, yung, for example, ito yung reaction B or support B. Yung reaction dyan is the square root of By squared plus FH squared. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, kung kabilan, kabila naman, so kung A naman yung support, syempre, this is AY and this is FH pa din. Kasi nga, hindi na tayo naggamit ng summation of force horizontal equal to zero. Kasi obviously, yung tension dito, uh, panag summation of force horizontal tayo, equal dyan sa BX. So, supposed to be, dapat this BX. So, para hindi na tayo mumaba yung solution, uh, in-equate natin yan. So, we, we can derive, guys, the formula for our FH or the horizontal component of our force in our cable. So, we can use the summation moment about point B equal to zero or equate natin lahat ng clockwise lahat ng counterclockwise moment about point B. So, mag-create ng clockwise is FH times yung moment arm niya is H. Lahat, guys, yan, variable lah. So, wala tayong constant. And yung mag-create naman ng counterclockwise is yung load natin na WO over 2 times yung L halves para maging concentrated load times yung moment arm na L over 4. So, simplify. Meron ang value na FH now is WO L squared over 16H. Uh, pero guys, for some references, ano natin, yung hinati natin na cable, usually, ganito lang yung cables natin, meron tayong WO na, ay nakalati yan, tapos this is L na. So, syempre, uh, babago na yung value ng FH natin. Kasi pa moment tayo about point B, uh, ganun pa din yung mag-create ng clockwise moment is FH times yung moment arm na H. And yung mag-create ng counter naman is the load na, the WO na lang, times L para maging concentrated load, times L halves for moment arm. So, pag simplify natin, yung FH now is equal to WO L squared over 2H. Na malayong malayo ng value kanina kasi kanina, yung value ng FH natin is WO L squared over 16H. So, ngayon, uh, pinakita ko sa inyo yan kasi para uh, i-discourage kayo na magsaulo ng mga formula. Instead na magsaulo kayo, mas maganda sana kung kayo na mismo magde-derive. So, just use mechanics, uh, the equations of equilibrium. So, yun lang naman yung gagawin nyo. Uh, huwag nyo sana kayong uh, magsaulo ng mga formula. Just like these formulas. Kasi nga, nagbabago din yung values natin for uh, weight 
for the distributed load and for our lens. So, we can use summation of force vertical naman. Uh, pwede natin equate lahat ng pataas ng forces sa lahat ng pababa ng forces. So, yung pataas is yung BY lang and yung pababa is the area of the load. So, WL lang yan. So, mas maganda sana pa rin nga, uh, yung aralin nyo na lang yung paggamit ng mga equations of equilibrium and pag-solve nyan. Pero, di, di discourage ko talaga guys yung pag sa ulo ng mga formula kasi pwedeng uh, mali yung pagka-input nyo or pwedeng mali yung pagka-derive nun. So, mas masaganda sana yung kayo na lang. So, let's solve an example problem guys. The cable in the figure supports a girder which weighs 850 pounds per foot. Determine the tension in the cable at points A, B, and C. So, this is the figure. As you can see, this is not symmetrical. Kasi nga, yung A natin and C is not uh, hindi pantay. Kasi yung lowest point niya, uh, this is 40 feet from the support A and para naman dito sa support C this is 20 feet. So magkaiba yung elevations nila. And itong intersection of x-axis and y-axis, this indicates that this is the origin. Ibig sabihin this is the lowest point of our cable. And hindi pa natin alam yung distance nyan about point A and about point C. So this is the free body diagram. Ito yung girder. Yung girder natin, ginawa na natin na 850 pounds per foot. Nakaloading na siya. And yung distance natin, if this is x-axis, so from y-axis, yung value natin for this distance, let's say this variable x. Yung sa kabila naman, kung this is 100, ibig sabihin, this is 100 minus x. So by using method of sections, we can cut the cable. So syempre, magkakat tayo sa lowest point of our cable. So syempre, sa so origin tayo magkakat. So pag inat natin, automatic, yung may lalabas dun guys na force dito sa cable sa lowest point, ng variable nga natin is fh. And this time, yung t-max natin wala. Magkaiba guys yung tension natin for point A and point C. Hindi natin alam kung ano talaga ano dyan yung T-max. So, pwede na sa A or pwede na sa C. Pero guys, yung about sa lowest point, laging equal yan. Kahit kunin mo yung left section using method of sections, dapat yung FH equal pa din yan sa kabila. So, sa, sa right section man or sa left section. So, first, let's use the left section so we can apply the equations of equilibrium. Mag-moment tayo about point A equal to 0. Equate natin lahat ng clockwise sa lahat ng counter. So, mag-create ng clockwise moment about point A is the load, which is 8 50 pounds per foot times 100 feet minus x times yung moment arm niya na 100 minus x all over 2. Equal to yung create ng counterclockwise is yung fh times yung moment arm niya about point a is 40 feet. So simplify natin, 850 over 2 is 425 times 100 minus x squared is equal yan sa 10,000 minus 200x plus x squared. Equal to 40 fh. So simplify natin, uh, divide both is by 40. So 40 5 divided 40 is 10.625. So, distribute natin. So, FH now is 106,250 minus 2,125x plus 10.625x squared. Let's say this is equation 1. So, next, let's use the right section of our cable. So, this time, mag-moment tayo about point C. So, yung mag-create ng clockwise this time is yung FH na. And mag-create naman ng counter is yung the load 850 times x times x halves na moment arm. So, simplify natin. fh times 20. So, 20 fh equal to 850 over 2 tapos x squared kaya 4 to 5 x squared. So, divide both sides by 20. So, we have now a value of fh na 21.25 x squared. Let's say this is equation 2. Meron tayong equation 1 and equation 2. So, meron tayong 2 equations, 2 unknowns. So, pwede natin equate yung dalawang equations na yan. So, equation 1 equal to equation 2. So, meron tayong 106,250 minus 2125x plus 10.625x squared equal to 21.25x squared. So, combined like terms. So, meron tayong, uh, pag nilipat natin yung 25, maging negative plus 10.625x squared. So, may one is negative 10.625 x squared equal to 0. So, we can divide both sides by negative 10.625. So, yung lalabas na equation is x squared plus 200x minus 10,000 equal to 0. Hindi na tayo guys magmamano-mano instead na mag-competing the square tayo. We can use our calculators na. So, sinold ko na guys yung value ng x which is 41.42 feet or negative 241.42 feet. So, syempre, yung kukunin natin is the positive part. So, yung positive 41.42 yung value of x. Pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video para ma-check nga kung tama yung pag-asolve ko ng value of x. 
So, nasolve natin guys yung value of x. So, pwede natin i-substitute yan sa value of fh para makuha yung value forces natin. So, yung fh now is 21.25 times 41.42 squared. So, yung syempre, yung value niyan dapat naka-pounds. We have now a value of fh is equal to 36,456.85 pounds or 36.46 kips or kilopounds. In-indicate ko pa din na tension siya or letter T. So, next, nasolve natin guys yung fh. We can solve the cy naman. So, we will use the summation of force vertical. Equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung pataas is ECY lang and yung pababa is the loading. So, yung loading is 850 pounds per foot times yung length niya is 41.42 feet. So, the value of CY now is 35,207 pounds or 35.25 or 35.21 kilopounds or kips. And this is pataas. Uh, next, masasobla din natin yung AY, yung value ng AY. So, apply ulit the equations of equilibrium equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa so yung pataas natin is AY ulit and yung pababa is the loading so yung loading natin is 850 times 58.58 kasi nga this is 100 minus X and yung X natin natin is 41.42 so meron tayong value ng AY na na 49,793 pounds or 49.79 kips and this is pataas pa din so yung nasolve natin guys lahat ng reactions about point A and point C or so Support A and support C. Ngayon, para masolve natin guys yung tension in the cable about point A, point B, and point C, yung tension at A dapat equivalent yan sa resultant of the reaction about point A. And para naman sa tension at C, dapat equivalent din yan sa resultant of the reaction about point C. Automatic guys, yung tension natin about point B equivalent na yun sa FH natin which is 36.46 kips and naka-indicate nga ng letter T for tension. Sabi ko nga kanina, yung TA natin equivalent yan sa resultant of the reaction about point A. Na resultant of the reaction about point A is the square root of FH squared plus AY squared. So, meron tayong values niyan. So, substitute at FH is 36.46 and AY is 49.79. So, meron na tayong value of tension at A is equal to 61.71 kilopounds. And para naman sa tension at C, equivalent pa din yan sa reaction of the resultant. Equivalent din yan sa resultant of the reaction about point C. So, equal yan sa square root of F8 squared plus CY squared. So, meron tayong values ulit. So, substitute. So, yung CY this time is 35.21. So, simplify. Meron tayong tension about point C now na equal sa 50.69 kips or kilopack. And, in-indicate ko pa din na T for tension. So, nasolve natin guys lahat ng tension in our cables about point A, point B, and point C. So, gan ganyan lang naman guys yung pag-solve natin in cables subjected to a uniform distributed load so, just use the equations of equilibrium. Tandaan na kung ano yung tension sa supports, yun, lagi niyang equal sa resultant of the reaction at the supports. So, laging equal yan. So, that's it. Thank you very much and have a good day.